If only there were grades for getting around the system rather than staying in it. Well, our school hacks can still help with getting your life school balance just right. Check them out and put them to good use. There is no way Mike's gonna miss an episode of his favorite YouTube show. A blogophile like him doesn't care where nor how he's gonna get his daily dose in, as long as his trusty gadget is by his side. But part of the fun is watching with someone you could then discuss with. Good thing Ashley here is a fellow fan. Okay, so maybe Mike's phone doesn't want to stay put. That doesn't make for a very convenient watching situation. What if he just leans it against these notebooks? That didn't work. Fine, let's try this. Nope. Come on, man. Why can't you just stay still? I've got something we could try. Now the phone's definitely not going anywhere. Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do now? Think, Mike, think! You can do it! Paper clips? How are they gonna help? You only need one. Still don't know where we're going? Check it! Bend half the paper clip like so. And ta-da! Put the phone down carefully, and your personal movie theater is ready for action. I don't believe my eyes. It actually worked. Looks like Mikey's gonna go to an actual movie theater soon. And not alone, either. Crib sheets. The whole point is that they have to be inconspicuous. But what's the best way of achieving this? And of actually having them be there when you need them? Don't worry, Natalie. We've got a plan. <sighs> Try this hack with your best friend. Just tape your notes to her back and use her hair to hide it. Yup, just like that. gonna ask Natalie why she's sleeping in class because the teacher might see and kick us out for talking. Nat's gonna have to deal with catching up on everything she missed by herself. Hey, get it together, Natalie. Or come up with a hack. Mm. This little hack will allow you to be in two places at once. How? You'll need your glasses and a photo of yourself wearing glasses. One to one ratio so the proportions are right. Carefully cut out the rims and make sure your eyes are actually looking into the classroom. Now stick them inside the glasses. Just like that. Perfect. And there you have it. Natalie is now in two places at once. In class. And in her sweet, sweet dreams. Hopefully, it will only be the bell that wakes her. You can't use this hack if you sit up front. But that doesn't matter. Everyone knows that's where the nerds sit anyway. Everyone else can put this one to good use. We all 
all know eating's not allowed in the classroom. But we'll just see about that. Just make sure you're careful, because facing the wrath of the teacher is not exactly fun. So, here's what we're gonna do. Use your preferred writing utensil to poke a hole in the bag. Stick it between the desks, and voila! Snacks ready, and no one's gonna kick you out for indulging. Help yourself, girlfriend, before it's all gone. <gasps> Dealing with a particularly nosy teacher? Just camouflage the bag and enjoy your snack in peace. Crunch, crunch, and crunch. Sooner or later, that dreaded day is gonna come. The day when you get called up to the board and you're not ready. Don't freak out, though. There's always a way out. If you've practiced understanding your study partner, that is. Make sure you and your bud develop a system both of you understand. Yup. Both of you understand. <laughs> There's a million little tips, tricks, and hacks you could use. It just takes some time and practice. So don't get down on yourself if you can't get a good system going right away. Next time, you'll surely awe them all. Go back to your desk, Natalie. Come on, Ashley. Show them how it's done. Check out this multiplication hack. If you need to multiply each number by 9, write down 0 to 9 in order, top to bottom. Then again, but bottom to top in the second column. If that's not magic, I don't know what is. Okay, so math can be pretty strange at times. And it's definitely best to know the multiplication tables by heart. But just look at that. Still pretty cool, right? Just look at the way those numbers align. Seriously, who would have thought that you could just write them in order like that? This is seriously amazing! Seven... Eight... Nine! I'm a genius! Hey, Ben! Can I borrow your stapler? Sure, go for it! Thanks for letting me know it's broken. This little life hack will save you money and get you some creativity points. Grab a utility knife and make a cut going through all the sheets, stopping before the edges. Repeat. Now bend the edge, and now your sheets ain't going anywhere. Whoa. I am clearly sitting next to a genius. You. Feeling the need to express your love? There's nothing to it. Unless there are no scissors around. This one goes out to all those stubborn souls that refuse to give up. Grab two rulers. And use their sharp edges instead of scissors.
Perfect. Aw, such a sweet gesture. Aha! Uh -huh. If there's rain or sleet in the forecast, you've got the perfect opportunity to take whatever you want into a movie without anyone being the wiser. Hey, Ben, that's quite a large umbrella you've got there. Molly starts filling the folds of her accessory, and there are an endless amount of those. This is perfect! Cool. Oh, yeah, that's tasty. But I should save it for the movie. So much wonderful candy! Hurry up and jump into my nice warm scarf! All right then, work is done. Now for the hard part. And our pair is back at the theater, fully confident of their success. Just look at them! You would never know that these two are mischievous rule breakers who are smuggling contraband foods on their person. Molly makes her approach first. She's so brave. Here's my ticket! Thank you! <clears throat> Let's see that. I wouldn't get too close to me if I were you. I have a terrible cough, you see. <laughs> Ugh, get in there and quick! Don't get your germs on me! Take your cough and go already! Can you believe the state people come here in? Ben, you're up, big guy. Okay then, it's time for our big scene umbrella. Ben heads towards the theater at full speed until the guard steps in his path. Uh, greetings, madam. Mm-hmm. I'll just give you a once-over with this. Uh-oh, wasn't expecting that. What do you have in this umbrella? Show me. It's just an umbrella. It's raining cats and dogs out there. And yet this is dry as a bone. Hand it over, I said. Get out of there, Ben. Run. Holy cow, look at all of this. What's on my head? Ugh, a frog? That's just disgusting. What a little liar. Try and fool me. Molly and Ben continue their search for ways to hack the system and get anything they want by the guard. Ben's got another stash of sweets, and Molly has a cloud of cotton candy. What have they thought of this time? Ben definitely has something up his sleeve. A little transformational magic. And... Well, that was unexpected. Ben has tapped into his feminine side, and Molly has gone gray early. Wow, you're a genius. Looking good, hot stuff. Pink is so your color. Time to hide those sugary treats. Molly's got scissors and double-sided tape to work with, and Ben will need two ordinary balloons. Have you already caught on to what they're thinking? Cover the double-sided tape with cotton candy. Stick on as much as possible so the tape becomes full and fluffy. Now for Molly to pull off the paper from the tape and stick her creation on her face. Lovely beard, hun. Ben then blows up his balloons that are chock full of snacks, ties them off, and hides them in his shirt. Quite the figure he's got. Give me five, Molly. Let's go watch a movie. Ben and Molly are already at the theater. The guard isn't just wasting time standing around, but using her brakes to pump some iron. Ready, guys? This time, Ben will take his chances first. Um, hi, hi, hi. I'm just going to see a movie. That I guessed already. Your ticket? Oh, I completely forgot. Here you are. All right then, go on in. Well, I'll be. Ben managed to outsmart the guard and is now safely slipping into the auditorium. Come on, Molly, I'm waiting for you. Molly is thrilled for Ben and rushes up to join him inside. Well, hello there, Gramps. Got sick of sitting at home? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, decided to stretch my legs. Here's my t t t ticket. What? What do you mean, ticket? Seniors get in for free today, but there's something on your mustache. What is this? Oh, Smells no. like sugar. Uh oh. I'm afraid Molly has been found out. The guard sampled her beard and now knows that it's nothing but cotton candy. What a cheeky move, old man. How dare you try and trick me? The gall. Even older folks have no shame these days. But I'm too sharp. Molly and Ben are racking their brains for another means of getting all their favorite snacks past the watchful guard. Maybe if I warm up my head a bit, I'll be able to cook up an idea faster. Oh, hey, it worked! Molly, why don't we hide the candy in our warm hats? Oh. And some thick mittens will do the trick too. Awesome! Wanna have a contest? See who can fit more into their hat and gloves? This is gonna be more than enough, I'd say. Would you look at that? The two are tossing what looks like an endless amount of treats into those hats. And they still have their mittens to fill, too. No one will ever be able to guess what yummy treasures lie within them. Pat this all down nicely and, oh, put the hats on our heads. 
perfect. Cool. These things are stuffed with candy, and I have even more in my hat. All right, now I'm not only ready to take on winter, but also that overly observant mean old guard as well. Let's get this party started. Hey, guys, give us a thumbs up for all our hard work and the good time being had by all. Incoming! Ben and Molly have swooped in straight from the North Pole, and they are still shivering with cold. Or maybe all that shaking has more to do with fear? Either answer is fully plausible at this point. Yeah, hello. Uh, here you are. Go on, head in and find your seat. Was that a guy or an icicle in a hat? I can't believe she bought it. Seriously, another person wearing winter accessories in this heat, and she's dancing? Molly is ready to reprise Ben's performance, but nerves have started her hip-hop moves. Yo, my man! Take my ticket quick! The movie was just my first pick! Yo, 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 yo! Give me five while I jive! What the heck is this? Oops. Looks like Molly took her new persona just a little bit too far and will now never see the other side of that door. Why don't you take that hat off? Oh, no. Now you're in big trouble, Molly. All of your candy spilled out right before her eyes. She's about to explode with anger. Make a run for it while you still can. That was Ew. the best she could come up with. What a ridiculous attempt. Although, Ew. hmm. Our quest for ways of bringing in all the candy you want to the movies forges ahead, and Molly and Ben are fully invested. Ugh, think, Ben, think. I need to mask the treats in a way that the guard won't ever notice them. Yeah, okay, my manicure could use an upgrade too. Hold the phone, Molly, that's it! Ben! Ben, I've got it! Okay, hit me, what'd you come up with? Listen, why not attach candy to our stuff with a little bit of something sticky? Wow, Molly, now who's the genius? Take a tiny bit of modeling clay and place a piece of candy on it, and you're good to go. Now you can stick Skittles to anything you want. Ben is using them to turn his glasses into showstoppers, and Molly is going for a sweet manicure. Oh, and she's also fashioned herself a marshmallow headband, too. Looks pretty amazing, right? And more importantly, it's delicious. What a look. Oh, man, my nails are totally on point. Don't be jealous. Well, are you ready for the big premiere? It's called the Gullible Guard. There's no time to waste. Ladies first. This is for you. I see you checking out my bold new manicure. Um, yeah, sure. Your ticket is fine, thanks. And what about my colorful nails? Don't you like them? Wow, they're very original, that's for sure. Go on, will you take your ticket back already? All right, thanks. Ugh, I was so worried, now I can refuel a bit. Is that the latest trend? Maybe I should get my nails done like that too. You. Yes, Molly made it past her, and that means Ben should be hopeful about his chances too. Good afternoon. What do you think about my fancy glasses, sugar? I know you're in awe, right? Aww. Ben, no. What are you doing? Have you learned nothing? Apparently not. That looked painful. Again, in the exact same place. Is my eye still in its socket? Yeah, it's still in place, Ben. But I'm afraid your candies are now in the guard's hands, and she's not going to let you in. Molly and Ben are down in the dumps. Have they really run out of ideas? Nope. Ben has hatched a plan of some sort after all. Flowers? Oh, those must be to bring a smile to his friend's face. So sweet. Molly, here. These are for you. Oh, flowers? Really? Thanks. Yep. Anything to lift your spirits for at least a moment or two, Molly. Molly is deeply moved by the gesture, and she also seems to think that her bouquet can be more than just eye candy. Oh, Molly, great thinking! She grabs piece after piece of candy and nestles it all right between the petals. Oh, wow, it looks even cooler than I imagined it would. So the dynamic duo stuff the flowers with as many sweets as they can. No one would be suspicious of a bouquet, right? Time to test that theory out in practice, however. And so Ben and Molly make their way back to the theater, flowers in hand. Though there's more treats than plants to be had there. Molly, you hang back so that you can really play the date scene to its fullest. It has to look natural. Aw, look at that handsome guy. And he's got a bunch of flowers with him. Are they for me? Hmm, my girlfriend seems to be running late. Oh, so not for me. What a shame. I just love getting flowers. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, hi, Ben. What a beautiful bouquet. I wasn't expecting this in the least. I've got our tickets. This is our first date today. Ooh, 
Ooh. Aw, romance, young love, it's all so sweet. Please, go on in, you two. Why don't I have anyone bringing me gifts like that? Two huge bowls of candy sit before these two, but how can they sneak all that past a hawk-eyed guard? There's so much to hide. Molly came up with something really quick. She can camouflage that bowl in a flash under her shirt. With a belly this size, I'm clearly about ready to pop. Being pregnant is no piece of candy. Um, cake. Molly's able to easily pull off this super simple life hack, but what about Ben? He obviously can't play the pregnancy card, can he? Ben, you've never looked better. I know, I'm terribly handsome. Or should I say, pretty as a princess? Our two pregos are ready to enjoy a rom com, I'd say. And with all the treats they've got hidden in their baby bumps, they could watch a movie marathon if they want to. Molly is off to snag a good seat, assuming she makes it in that far. Hi there, here's my ticket. Can I get in there quickly, please? My back is just killing me. What? Oh, what a little miracle. Congratulations, miss. Head on in, of course, and get yourself comfortable. Isn't that lovely? All the healthy eaters out there know that the more veggies you eat, the better your figure will be. But even that rule has its limits. You are what you eat, after all. If you want to treat yourself to a spoonful of creamy Nutella, that will do the trick. Sweets are the bane of all diets, of course, but hey, some things are only off limits until you really, really want them, right? And how good is that stuff spread on a slice of toast? Ugh, nothing better in the world. And as an added bonus, you get to feel like a kid again every time you prepare this culinary delight. So simple, a slice of bread and some spread is the sweetest childhood memory. But at the same time, there are perks to being a grown-up. Now you get to say how much and how often you can eat Nutella. Isn't life sweet? And now that we've started, there's no point in stopping now. As they say, best to finish what you've started. And isn't it wonderful when you can lean back and tell yourself, well done, Kira, you did it. <sighs> if breakfast seems like it was forever ago and lunchtime isn't anytime soon, that doesn't mean you have to deny yourself a tasty snack or two. So if you got the time and nothing better to do, it's the perfect time to get a move on and throw something together. Could you tone it down a bit, Jess? Sorry, Kira. Studying is one thing, but lunch is something else altogether. Jess, I can hear you with headphones on. Oh, sorry. Turn up the volume or just deal with it while I finish. Seriously? 100%. Eating is an ancient and sacred ritual. If you don't do it right, you can anger the gods of gluttony and have a curse put on you. True story. You have got to be kidding me. All right, all right, it was a joke. I promise I'll never do that again. At least not today. <sighs> Natalie has a bit of a sweet tooth, so she's sworn to stop herself from touching the stuff today. And a promise is a promise. It all looks so delicious. Mm. I'm practically drooling. No desserts for a whole day? This is hard. Okay, so yes, I swore off the sweets, but I can satisfy my cravings by just looking at them without eating anything, all while keeping my promise. The temptation is strong, but nothing will break my iron will. I probably should have invested in a bib first. Hindsight, it's 2020. Meanwhile, the long awaited lunchtime has finally arrived for Jess. And hey, even if that piece of chicken is a smidge bigger than she was expecting, no big deal. The main thing here is not to see it as an obstacle, but a challenge. You can do it, Jess. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my tummy is happy now. Yes, my jeans are a tad snug at the moment, but I'll worry about that later. And to make sure there isn't an inch of free space left in my stomach, I'll chug down some cold mm -hmm. Sprite. Winning. Oh, man. What am I gonna do with this unexpected complimentary dessert? I can't just say no to a beautiful slice of chocolate cake. And it's free. Never. It's time to make a decision. 
once and for all. You got this, Jess. Today, you set a record. Oh yeah, it's like I didn't even eat that big hunk of meat or down that Sprite. I think I'm getting a second win here. Oh, just a tiny bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Prepping for exams has a tendency to really take it out of you. But worry not, there's a fail-safe means of topping up your tank. Pizza. Fresh, hot, made-to-order goodness delivered right to your door. What a teat, ladies. And the whole world melts away like cheese. Of course, sometimes it's best to let it cool just a bit so no slice gets left behind. Oh. Sorry, Jessica, I think we ought to throw it out. Don't you dare, Natalie! Could you really throw pizza away? It's wonderful no matter what happens. Ew. Are you sure, Jess? All right, be my guest. Somehow I seem to have lost my appetite, but you know, it might not be a bad idea for you to talk to a psychiatrist. The sooner the better. Another very long day has come and gone. Mm. Off to bed then, I guess. Time to count some sheep. One, two, three. <gasps> Wait a second. What's that noise coming from the kitchen? <sighs> Keep her cool, Jessica. Nobody's there. It's just your imagination running wild again. But what if it's not? What if a crazed killer has snuck into my home and wants me to think it's all in my head? I know, he's just waiting for me to drift off, then he'll sneak into my room and smother me or shoot me. He'll cut me to shreds or worse. Oh god, it's the blonde hunter. The sweet killer. Natalie? Hey, Jess. What are you doing up so late? Uh, Ew. Um, why don't you try and sleep with a crazy person like you in the kitchen? <laughs> There you are. Dig in, Kira. These delicious burgers and fries are all ours. Now we can sit around and gossip like normal people. Oh, just a second. Are you ready? I'm here. Just give me a second. Don't be shy, make yourself at home. Mmm. Make myself at home? Well, if you say so, I believe I will. Mmm. Where should I start? Well, mm. how about with everything? I've heard if you first bite the burger on the left, and then the one on the right, it'll bring you good luck. And I think it's time to test that. And if it doesn't work, no skin off my back. You know, I should really come over to Natalie's more often. Gotta love having such hospitable friends. Whew, just a bit more. So how are you? Kira, I see you're doing well, yeah? Help yourself, Natalie. Don't be shy. Make yourself at home? Yeah, I actually am at home. But you, little Miss Piggy, I don't think I'll be seeing you around here again. Well then, Mr. Cake, it's time for revenge. And revenge is a dish best served with chocolate. Hey, Natalie, it's so good to see you. Ooh, cake. Forgive me for the burgers, Natalie. And for the french fries, too. Could I have some, please? Just a teeny tiny bit. A teeny tiny piece, Kira. All right, I'm in a forgiving mood. Really? Thanks, Natalie. And here I didn't think you were the vengeful type. I'm not vengeful at all. I'm just not quick to forget either. And don't even try to soften me. My heart isn't made of chocolate. There's no melting it. So this is for you. Oh, yes. And this is for me. And be a dear, Kira. If you could go ahead and be just as jealous as possible as I enjoy this slice of heaven, I'd say I got my revenge and oh, how sweet it is. I could just eat it up. Yeah, yeah, okay, Natalie, but tomorrow when you step on the scale, we'll see who gets the last laugh after all. have been a bit harsh there, but I've definitely learned my lesson. You should always share tasty treats with your friends. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Maybe you'd like some, too? Yeah. Aw, I'd love some, Kira. Now, how are you supposed to live in this world? Hmm. You 
put yourself out there and someone comes up and eats half your ice cream. Thanks for the taste, Kira. Oh, and if there's anything else you want to share, I'm your girl. Next time, Jessica. Next time. Enjoy the bloopers with a snack. Bon appetit. Like, subscribe, and share if you dare. See you later, alligator.